after a splendid win against Castro in the Heineken Cup, Ospreys approach this match with a spring in their step and with Alan Wynne-Jones and Adam Jones returning to the starting 15, Ospreys could also boast an impressive nine wins in a row in the Pro 12 against fellow Welsh sides. Like the visitors, Blues had European success to celebrate with back-to-back -back wins over Glasgow, but inconsistent form in the Rabo saw Phil Davies side in the bottom half of the table. Blues made a decent start to the game and were in enemy territory from the off. And when Ospreys were penalised for collapsing the mall, Lee Halfpenny put the home side in front with a well-struck penalty to make it 3-0 after three minutes. Dan Bigger is the league's top point scorer this season and he added another three points to his tally with a fantastic long-range drop goal in the fifth minute and that levelled the scores at three apiece. Bigger has been ultra-reliable with the boot for Ospreys and a ninth-minute penalty put the visitors 6-3 ahead, that in the 11th minute. Halfpenny could have made it 6-all but his kick from in front of the posts was not one he'll be putting on his career highlights tape. At the other end, Bigger had a chance to make it 9-3. It was an opportunity he took, and Ospreys were looking in good shape to end a run of four defeats away from home in all competitions. However, Blues were creating some chances, and they finally got their reward when hooker Christian Dacey bustled his way over the Ospreys line for a try that took the intervention of the TMO to confirm. Dacey's third try in as many Pro 12 matches, a fine return from the number two, and when Halfpenny converted, Cardiff were 10-9 ahead. But just before half-time, that man Bigger struck twice in the 38th minute and again this one in the 40th to leave Ospreys 15-10 ahead at the half-time break. Into the second period, Cardiff went in search of scores to bring them back into it and when Tom Isaacs didn't roll away after making the tackle, another halfpenny penalty brought Blues back to within two points. But then, in the 48th minute, a big moment in the match. From an Ospreys line-out close to the Blues line, the visitors' maul caused the home defence all sorts of problems. A British and Irish line, Justin Tipperick found the gap before diving over for his side's first try of the night. When man of the match bigger converted, it was 13-22, and Ospreys had a two-score lead at least. The match was flowing from end to end and as Blues pressed, Halfpenny reduced the margin again with his third penalty of the night to leave it 16-22. Ospreys were reduced to 14 men when Mark Thomas was shown a yellow card for collapsing a scrum and with their opponents down a man, the home side brought it back to a three-point game when Halfpenny kicked between the posts just past the hour mark to leave it 19-22. But there was no more scoring in the last quarter of the match and the weather and substitutions led to a ragged end to this encounter. It's a big five weeks for both these sides, as Osprey's coach Steve Tandy said before this game, and it's his side who've made the best start to this run of matches. Final score at the Arms Park, Cardiff Blues 19, Osprey's 22.